Hey, what's up YouTube? Brian Fajoli here. Today, I am looking at a new product. It's a really cool computer. In fact, it's a $5 Linux computer. That's right, $5. Of course, I'm talking about the Raspberry Pi Zero. All new Raspberry Pi computer came in the mail today so I'm gonna go ahead and check it out I also bought a case for it uh, from Adafruit uh, it's a five dollar computer so you might be saying uh, Brian why did you buy a case for a five dollar computer you know what it was only like three dollars um, which you know is kind of a lot when you think you know it's it's more than fifty percent of the cost of the computer itself but still, I wanted to protect it and have it look nice. And, you know, the whole thing, you know, for, for you know, with shipping and everything was under like $15. Um, so I was I was happy with that. Plus, you know, for, for our Beta News readers um, and my YouTube viewers, I wanted you to see what this case was. So let's go ahead and check it out. So first I'm going to look at the Raspberry Pi Zero. It ships in a static bag. I can get this open here. Perfect. Wow. So this is very different than other Raspberry Pis. So, okay, let's let's go through here. So there's a slot for a micro SD card. That's what you would put your operating system on. There is a small HDMI port here to connect it to say um, a TV set if you want to use it as a media player or to a computer monitor. There are then two micro USB ports. Uh, I'm not sure if it'll show on camera but this one says power, this one says USB and this is a little disappointing to me. So this one here you know you would, you would hook in a micro USB uh, power you know power adapter um, something you use uh, for instance to charge your cell phone um, or if you have something lying around like that you would power it by micro USB. You're probably wondering well how the heck do you hook up a mouse and a keyboard to this particular Raspberry Pi Zero and the answer is you can't unless you purchase a USB OTG cable uh, which would plug into the micro USB port. And the reason I'm a little unhappy with that is that's just yet another thing to buy. So yes, it's a $5 computer, but now you have to buy a micro USB uh, to full size USB OTG adapter to plug in um, a keyboard and a mouse. And you're probably going to want to hook it actually to a uh, a USB OTG cable, then hook it up to a USB hub so you can then hook in a Wi-Fi adapter. I mean there's no USB port on here at all other than the micro variant. So you're gonna have to get that OTG adapter, a hub, plug in a keyboard, plug in a mouse. Um, there's no, um, there's no uh, Ethernet uh, port on here either. Um, there are, as you can see here, connectors so you can solder uh, for expansion um, for different GPIO and, and things like that if you want to connect it to a board and, and do some some special things. Um, but at $5, it's, it's a little misleading to say it's a $5 computer because you really can't use it in its current state. Of course, you know, with all the Raspberry Pis, you had to buy an SD card or a micro SD card. Um, you know, uh, but but realistically, you could hook it up via you know Ethernet. You could plug it in hardwired. You could plug in a keyboard and mouse, or um, you know things like that. You could plug in a Wi-Fi adapter. There, there's just a lot you have to buy here. So it's a little misleading to say this is a five-dollar computer because. It's, it's useless as is. Even if you add a micro SD card slot and HDMI, um, you still have no connectivity as far as a keyboard and mouse. There's no input. So, a little disappointing. So let's go ahead and look at the case as well. The case is actually a little, <laughs> even a little disappointing, but again, it was only a few dollars. So, it's two pieces of clear Let's see if I can peel this off easily. It's clear plastic. 
and it's basically two pieces that will sit between the Raspberry Pi Zero. Ooh, light just got brighter in the room. There's a series of screws here. Some screws and bolts. And I do have a screwdriver here. Uh, also disappointing, there's no instructions on how to put this thing together. I also went on the Adafruit website just to see if there was a, a, a description of how to how to assemble this case, and there was nothing. Which is which again is fine. I mean, it's it's kind of self-explanatory, um, but it would be nice just to have something. So I mean, I could tell you right off the right off the bat, I'm having trouble getting this paper off here. I don't have long nails. If I could take this and put it through the holes. Now are the coals even cut out. Let's see if I could push through. There we go. So I can push through here. That'll come through on the camera. Push out those pieces of plastic. Okay. I'll do the same with this one. You can see here there's a cutout. Um, just put your screwdriver through that hole. Okay. So, goodness. I'm assuming, yeah, I mean the paper should come off. It's, it's on there like an adhesive, but it should peel off because the idea is you want to be able to see the pie through the, um, through the clear part. There we go. Starting to slowly peel off. And I just want you guys to understand what you're getting into when you buy something like this. So, you know, this is what you get. You have to peel off this paper. There it goes. Okay. Well, it's tearing there, of course. Okay, got it. Okay. So now that is off, so we have a clear piece of, piece of plastic um, that has now fingerprints all over it, uh, but whatever. Uh, let's see if I can get the paper off here. So far, I'm leaning towards not recommending picking this up just because at $5, it's it's not as powerful as the other Raspberry Pis. Um, you lose a lot of connectivity. And like I said, I it, it, I find the $5 price to be a bit is to be misleading. Uh, yes, it's it's kind of gimmicky that, you know, they gave it away in a magazine because it's a $5 computer, but I don't I, I really don't see people utilizing this Raspberry Pi Zero. Oops. Because it's not very powerful and because it's limited connectivity by not having full size USB ports. Hmm. I mean this is just this is maddeningly frustrating. This is really um, I'm not enjoying myself trying to get this piece of paper off here. Uh, if you want to leave a, um, a, you know, something in the comments telling me what I could do better next time uh, with this paper, I just try to scrape it with the screwdriver. There we go. Just getting it. As soon as you get it started, it's easy. But that's that's the problem is getting it started. Ooh, piece of plastic came off there. Okay. No. Okay, cool. So, as I understand it, the Pi, there should be two pieces. Okay, so let's see. Which is the bottom, which is the top? So, I believe, let's see. Should it go like that and like this? Leave it's supposed to go like this because you wait. You want the could that be it? Because you want the pins here to be left exposed. Yep. Okay. So that would go on the top. And am I right with that on the bottom? Let's see. No. Uh, 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 let's see. Ah, like that. Okay. 
so the screws I believe will just go through like so and from the picture that I saw I think there's a bit of a trick here so oh there's different size screws that's not good let's see how should that be uh, yes I think the long one again I'm guessing here I think the long one should go on that side and the shorter ones here and I'll show you why because then if you notice there's they could show you here there's four screws but then there's one two three four five six bolts so I believe these bolts go on first almost says like a riser these are actually flathead screws too but luckily the screwdriver flips over okay uh, okay oops so what I'm gonna have to do here is hold either you could either hold the bolt and screw or you could hold the screw and turn the bolt I'm just gonna hold the bolt because it's easier to use the tool and spin the tool I hope I'm doing this right I think I am okay all right you can see there and luckily I do have a USB OTG cable from uh, for my Android devices I've used in the past. Okay. I even have a USB, it's a USB OTG cable that also does power. So it's kind of like a splitter. So um, you could, it, it, if you, I, I don't know if that'll work here, this power connector. I don't, I don't know if it's strictly power or if I connect, I have a connector that uh, it's a micro USB to dual full size USB and then one USB you can use for power and the other one you can do use for connectivity. Uh, I bought that because I believe it can be used to hack the um, Chromecast. The, uh, the first generation Chromecast, I believe you could hook that up because there's only one port for power. Um, but if you use a splitter like that, an OTG cable that also does power, um, you can in fact ooh, uh, connect a flash drive to it. So, all right, so now we have four screws, uh, four bolts remaining. So I'm going to put this on the top and again you want to make sure that you're putting this on in such a way that the pins are exposed here for soldering purposes. That's the design here. Okay. So as you can see it's kind of fitting on now. So there's four bolts left. I'm going to screw these on. I'm just going to hand screw as much as I can and if I need to I can use the screwdriver again to tighten it all up seems to be working pretty well alright I'm just gonna hold the bolt with my finger here and turn the screwdriver don't wanna over tight over tighten okay so one two let's do this one here And again, it is a little bit silly to put a protective case uh, on a $5 computer uh, when you're, I, th I think it, if I, you know, I think it was like $3.75 for the case. So, I mean, that's like 60% of the cost of the device itself. To put that into perspective, I mean, that would be like buying a, um, a $500 iPad and buying like a $300 case to protect the $500 iPad. Doesn't make sense, uh, but even though percentage wise it's comparable, I mean, these, this is low cost stuff here, folks. I mean, this is a $15 investment. Okay. All right. So let's take a look. So if I can get that on the camera there. It actually looks pretty cool. So now here exposed is the HDMI port, the data USB port, the power USB port, both micro variants. Uh, on the bottom, 
everything is protected uh, except there is a cutout for the pins for soldering purposes here as well as on the top so you can still access the micro uh, the uh, micro SD port you can still access the HDMI port and it looks pretty cool so I will probably do a video uh, and write up for beta news uh, of this device and do I recommend it as of this exact moment I would say no I don't see the purpose for this it's it's very gimmicky um, because um, I hate to sound like a broken record but you have to buy a USB OTG connector um, if you want internet connectivity you're gonna have to get a hub a USB hub and then also get a USB Ethernet um, adapter or USB Wi-Fi adapter um, because there's no built-in Ethernet here I mean you there's just too many compromises um, it's it's a gimmick uh, I'm a Linux guy I'm a hardware guy I had to buy this for collectible purposes if anything but I don't really expect to use it and it's sad because I have I have a better Raspberry Pi uh, it, it'll just look like a huge mess to have uh, a USB OTG cable going to a hub. Then the hub is then connecting to a keyboard and a mouse and a Wi-Fi adapter. Um, then you know the mic. You know it's it's just you know whatever. So there you go, Brian Fajoli, BetaNews.com, taking a look at the all new Raspberry Pi Zero and the Pi Protector 4 Raspberry Zero, both purchased from Adafruit.it. You can see uh, the descriptions there, the URL, uh, barcodes, if you have any questions, uh, leave them in the comments. And there you go, folks. A $5 Linux computer, but then again, you get what you pay for. Thank you so much for watching.